What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another SGN video where it's all sim all the time and now that we have the attention to detail roster out into the wild and we got a slider set created for that roster as well as my NBA settings, man, it's time to bring you a franchise series. Uh, I try to do this for you guys every single year if possible. It just depends on you know how much time I have. But this year I've been uh, waiting to start my franchise. I didn't even start one on 2K default just because I was ready for ATD. I knew it was going to come sooner. So this year we are going to be doing, uh, I, I don't even want to call it a rebuild series because I don't really know how much of a rebuild there really is to do. We're just going to do a franchise series with the Orlando Magic. Um, I love their jerseys. I love kind of the youth that they got there. We're going to definitely be trying to take them to the next level. Um, in this series and try to just bring them back to relevancy from the mid 90s and um late uh 2000 2000s early 2000s like till an 8 9 10 11 12 right they were really strong then anyway so what we're going to do this is the introduction video for uh my magic franchise and we're going to kind of talk about a few things first we're doing a start today from november 4th that's when i created this so we're Couple days behind in real life. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. Anyways, let's go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna discuss a few things. Um, number one, we're gonna go over the roster. I'm gonna kind of give you my thoughts on the roster and what changes I'm gonna be looking to make within the roster. So when we first go in and look, obviously we got a couple injuries. We know that like Magic are like seem to be just just always hit with injuries. We down um you know cole anthony and marco fultz right now obviously they're not long-term injuries but they're still there uh we have jonathan isaac out that achilles and he's been what is out what feels like for forever um and he's obviously a younger guy that we you know we don't know what we can do but i like where we're at with the point guard i like cole anthony um shooting guard position you know Jalen Suggs and Terrence Ross, we don't have a good three-point shooter there. You know, Jalen Suggs could develop into one, but what this team is really lacking from what I can, you know, what I see is we don't have a, a lot of great three-point shooters. Even Franz Wagner, he can hit it, but he's only got a B3. You know, obviously we want to build around him and um, Paolo, but they're both not great three-point shooters. And so you're looking at our, our two and our three positions, and we don't have three-point shooters we have a very good we have very good depth in our front court between the power forward position and the center position we actually have so much depth there that we can use some of these players maybe as trade pieces but the first move i want to make before i even get into playing a game here is just just get some outside shooting even just one player and not just not just outside shooting but a score someone who is like you know, we got that go-to score. We have some good players, but are they go-to scorers necessarily yet? If they can't shoot the three, you're really limited to driving or shooting mid-range, and so you don't have that full, the full option there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at how can we reduce the clutter that we have in the front court, and what can we do to uh, improve our shooting without sacrificing too much of our future with, you know, giving away draft picks and stuff because we do have two first round draft picks come up this year uh, ours and the bulls so we don't want to do anything that would really jeopardize our future but we want to obviously you know make a, a jump and now is the time to maybe make a move and see what we could do with some of these players so basically um we're gonna try to see if we can't find someone who can stretch the floor for us uh create create their own shot not not be reliant on anything else and uh yeah so let's go ahead and see what we can do as far as finding that player um i didn't really have a person in mind so we're just going to go and search for them we're going to search uh sh we want a combo guard which i guess could be a point guard shooting guard but i was more thinking like a, a two so we could play the two and the three someone who's not too old and basically the main thing we're looking for here is they need to be able to shoot so don't care about their height too much um yeah, excuse me i don't want to be undersized if they're going to potentially have to play the three i know that basketball is is positionless but that could lead to a lot of really bad mismatches so but the main thing is we want a minus or better it gives us 21 options here and uh we'll go take a look 
problem is, because we included small forward in here, now we're going to get the guys who are small forward, power forward, not potentially small forward shooting guard. So we're just going to have to go switch this to um, just straight up shooting guard. Um, and see if there's anybody here on this list who we think we'd actually get. Obviously, the first four guys are on not happening. Uh, Tyler Harrow just signed a huge new deal. I don't think I want that contract. Gary Trent Jr. is very intriguing. He's on a one-year deal, so they might be looking to, to move him if they're not going to re-sign him. Jalen Green's a second-year player. They're not going to trade him. Uh, Luke Kennard is just a spot-up three-point shooter, not really a creature-own-shot kind of guy. Um, same with Kevin uh, Herter. For the most part, I mean, he can do he can create a shot a little bit more, but still not the greatest. And we get down the list here, and we're starting to – you'll get into lower overalls. And so basically kind of what I, I saw on this list too is sticking out to me is Gary Trent Jr. And I'm a big fan of his. I had him in my franchise last year. I believe I grabbed him. Um, but not only does he stand out, he's 23 years old. He can shoot the ball. He can score at the mid-range. And he's on a one-year deal. So they're going to look to move him. They haven't extended him. This is our time to try and pounce. Uh, and the offering of Jalen Suggs and, and Terrence Ross isn't that big of a deal. I would have liked to keep I would like to keep Terrence Ross because our second unit, I don't I don't have any faith in our second unit. I like our starting five and then I like that we have, you know, our front court, our backups are pretty solid. If we you know whoever we go with starters, we have a good rotation with the power forward and center position. But point guard, shooting guard, small forward I don't really like what we have there as far as offensive weapons. So Terrence Ross is one of those. But given the options we have here, the best option is, in my opinion, to try to move Jalen Suggs, Terrence Ross. I don't really like the idea of giving up next year's 2024 first round pick, even if it is protected. So, you know, me, I wouldn't be me if I didn't try to wheel and deal and see if I can't negotiate something else. So... We're going to go ahead and try and see if we can get out of giving them that pick. And uh, just to make it easy for you guys, spent a lot of time wheeling and dealing, trying to move around and give them different first-round picks, second-round pick options, just anything I could to not give them that 24 first-round pick, top three protected. And uh, I sped this video up for you just so you can see. It didn't work, all right? They were not budging. They want that 20 24 first round top three protected pick and so i just wasn't content with that trade and so i went back we looked at the roster here okay so is there any other trade piece we could use you know besides terrence ross and jalen suggs and we looked at i'm not getting rid of cole anthony i really i don't want to get rid of him jonathan isaac is gone for too long but gary uh gary harris is optional but he was hurt so we had to simulate four days to the to the eighth for him to come back from his day-to-day -day -day injury so we could uh, potentially use him in a trade and what do you know as soon as he's available we don't even have to get rid of Jalen Suggs anymore or Terrence Ross I can just get rid of Gary Harris and that pick so this was a huge win for me because I didn't really want to get rid of Jalen Suggs because of what he potentially could turn into and I didn't want to get rid of Terrence Ross because of I think his importance of uh, coming off the bench so without messing around with it too much, we just went with it. We just went with the, what they wanted. Gary Harris and that 2024 first round pick, top three protected. So boom. Now we have, in my opinion, our go-to score. All right. So it's gonna, we're going to go ahead and set our lineup. So this is how the lineup was set up uh, based on the start today of the fourth. We're going to switch it up. This is how I'm rocking with it. Cole Anthony, Gary Trent, Franz Wagner, Paolo, and Mo Bamba starting. And then we're going to have... Um, you know, there's the bench right there, but the bench is still something that I'm not really set on. We're going to also switch this up. We got a lot of youth here. We're going to run seven seconds, man. We're going to get up and down the court. We got the guys to do it. I really believe that we do. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to get up and down the court and try to outrun teams, um, with the players that we have on this roster. I think that shouldn't be too big of a deal to do especially because we got some bigs who can move around as well too but here we are here's the roster right now like i said i love cole anthony at the point guard uh we're not we're not making any change there i love that we're the problem is even when marco fultz comes back he can't shoot 
Uh, Gary Trent, love that change for our team. Um, problem is we need Jalen Suggs to develop. Uh, Terrence Ross is going to be a, a good player off the bench for us. At the small forward position, obviously we got friends starting, and then coming in will be a little bit of Terrence Ross, a little bit of Chuma Okiki probably. Um, you know, I don't really know how we're going to work those guys in. Uh, it depends on just you know the availability depends on how long Jonathan Isaac is out for as well but he's probably a person we're going to have to move and we're going to go with Mo Bamba and Wendell Carter at the bit at the center position um we still have some people we could probably move if we need to 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 make a splash throughout the season but we're going to just kind of start with this and go from there um the big key is going to be when Jonathan Isaac comes back because he could either become a huge part of our offense or a trade piece so anyway guys this is our Orlando Magic. We're going to be doing most of these games. We're going to be streaming on Twitch because I can't really get um, these full games on YouTube for you guys. So we're going to do a lot of streams. Um, anyways, I hope you uh, are excited for this just like I am. Our first game is against the Mavericks. Make sure you're following me on Twitch so you can check that game out and watch it. Otherwise, guys, that's it for me. Stay tuned to the next video. Peace.